What's going on everybody? So today's video is most likely going to be shorter than average because what I'm going over is pretty simple and it's not really hard to test. This is something I'm sure a lot of new players are wondering about and that is, is there a reason to dual wield, also known as power stance, other than, you know, looking cool as fuck? This is actually something I was really wondering about, you know, like, does dual wielding actually do more damage or does it do less and it's just, you know, it just looks cool. Now before Dark Souls 2 players start, you know, going crazy, I'm gonna let you know right now, Dark Souls 2 is my least played Souls game. And when I did play Dark Souls 2, I did not power stance at all. This video will specifically be talking about power stancing in Elden Ring because I don't really have, you know, any knowledge about how it works in Dark Souls 2. If it works the same, whoop de doo if it doesn't, please spare my soul, Dark Souls 2 fans. Anyways, before I get into it, as always, if you are new and you do enjoy this video at any time, please do consider subscribing. About 80% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed, and you know, if you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe? I make lots of Elden Ring content, and well, the game's coming out next week. There's gonna be a lot more, don't miss out. And for those who are subscribed, I don't know if you heard, but I am going to be live streaming my first playthrough of Elden Ring on Twitch. Link in the description if you want to join in. I'm gonna summon some viewers, it's gonna be fun. Now that all that is out of the way, let's get to it. Before I get into like the DPS and number stuff, I want to let you guys know about something I found interesting. So first of all, if you didn't know with curved swords like the scimitar, you can do a little faint attack just like in the previous games. However, it's kind of different in Elden Ring. You do a little backflip melee attack. If you charge uh, an R2 attack and then roll before you actually swing. And yes, you don't need a dual wield to do this. But what I found interesting is that when you do power stance while doing this, you can do a charge attack with both weapons. I thought that was pretty cool because normally you would uh, only expect it to be with the one sword like this. So yeah, I thought that was cool. So the way I'm going to test this is obviously with the dual wielding. I'm just going to do the entire dual wield combos. But when I test only one, I'm just going to do whatever I would normally do. You know, maybe a R2 into a R1 R1. Something like that. The reason I'm not just going to test R1 spam is because that doesn't really show the full potential of just one weapon when you're two-handing. When you're dual wielding, your only option is to really, you know, melee with both. Which is dual wielding at full potential. Who the fuck are you? Today, we have a new contestant for damage testing. Of course, I'm talking about... Hold on. Fucking... Get the fuck out of here. Of course, I'm talking about the renowned Shart Egg. Oh, he's not sharding on me. Now you're just an egg. Shart, you bastard. Oh, man really just flashed his asshole at me. Oh, there's the shart. See, this is what I'm talking about. See, now, now the joke makes sense. Anyways, I'm going to be beating the shit out of these weird butthole eggs. Because they don't move and they don't really attack back other than, you know, sharding. This fucking fly. So I just finished watching these clips back and it's really hard to tell which is actually like better damage wise. I'm pretty sure dual wielding just does less damage per hit but hits many more times than you normally would when two handing and two handing just does more damage with less hits. So you know it's like pretty much the same it doesn't really matter. Dual wielding and two handing seem pretty much on par with each other. However when it comes to jump attacks Dual wielding seems to be better every single time. Even when you two hand and do a heavy attack, it still does a lot less damage than you would when dual wielding. And by a lot less damage, okay, I yeah. mean like so a damage like difference attacks, of maybe five. Better, so the next sure. thing I thought of was maybe guard breaking bosses, you know, maybe dual wielding guard breaks a boss faster than when just two handing a weapon. However, this was actually like quite the bitch to test out. Since bosses, you know, beat the shit out of you. It's really hard to tell exactly how many hits guard break the boss. It's also impossible to perfectly replicate the fight twice for dual wielding and two handing, so there is bound to be some errors and it's definitely 
far from accurate. But from just eyeballing both different fights, you know, when two-handing and dual-wielding, there still seems to be barely any difference when it comes to guard breaking a boss, both of them do it pretty fast. Now I will say dual wielding most likely has the edge when it comes to guard breaking a boss, since it's really based off of consecutive hits as far as I can tell, and obviously dual wielding is great for consecutively hitting an enemy. So personally, for me, I think it is very hard to tell which is better and which is worse. There is definitely a difference between the two, but it seems like it's such a small little gap that it barely matters. They are, they're almost the same. I would really appreciate it if you guys left your thoughts in the comments below because I would really like to see what you guys think. Now let's be real for a second, you know, if dual wielding is somehow worse than two-handing, I'm not saying it is, this is just theoretically, people are still gonna dual wield because it looks fucking cool, right? I mean, even I will. Anyways, my final conclusion is that it probably does not fucking matter if you dual wield or two hand. And now that I think about it, it probably really just depends on the weapon. Anyways, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. You're awesome. If you enjoyed, please drop a like. If you're new, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.